Hi folks, welcome to Scholar About Tarot. Just call me Mayfield and thanks a ton for stopping by the study space. Today we're going to be playing around with some rather familiar tarot decks that you've seen on this channel before. Uh, we have the Dragon's Tarot here that uh, failed to do multiculturalism in a responsible way. We've got the Samurai Tarot here that's dabbled quite a bit into uh, some pretty uncomfy Orientalist sort of vibes to it. And then we have the Tarot of the Pirates that kind of confirmed all of my fears as to why these decks are the way that they are. I didn't actually delve into what I actually do with these decks, and I wanted to share that with you a little bit. Now, in all honesty, I have zero idea what to do with the Dragon's Tarot, because I was thinking, oh, I'm getting a cool little cute Dragon's Tarot, and it's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of fierce type of thing to play with, but it wasn't, and it was fierce in the way that I didn't want it to be, <laughs> and it was also really quite an irresponsible uh, a deck to have ever come out from, from Los Scarabeo, among other products that they have, but that's another story. Then we have the Tarot of the Pirates, which I actually do use. Uh, this one is one of the least offending decks out of the three that I have. And I, I actually do use it for any time that I want to explore my imagination, when I want to feel uh, creative, because if I'm being honest, I seldom ever feel creative on my own. So I like to play around with Tarot of the Pirates and uh, delve into that uh, romanticism, as if you saw the video, as it were. So yes, I do actually use the Tarot of the Pirates, so this one actually is going to be staying in my collection. The Samurai Tarot. So uh, this one is... How do I even put this? Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. So this one I really want to love, but there is still kind of a problem. In my uh, original video, I spoke of how the court cards are the only ones that have the sort of historical or legendary figures attached to them. And I mean, it's a really nice, nice-ish art style. But one thing that I didn't touch on was how this deck is actually double bordered. Like I had a whole spiel about it. And unfortunately, I don't remember what that spiel was about how problematic it was for it to have just double borders. But if you want my hot take, I do really think that any time a deck comes with double borders like this, I feel like something inherently went wrong in the proofing stage, and no one can change my mind about that. But there's also another bit of an issue. Like, I mean, this is supposed to be a Nine of Chalices, and I don't really see a Nine of Cups energy in this, in this card. It's kind of red, right? Um, not to say that a Nine of Cups can't be read, but it doesn't really scream Nine of Cups to me. And there are a bunch of other cards like that. So what I'm going to do with this deck is, I am I mean, first of all, I'm going to chop the borders off. I'm going to keep part of these borders, like the inner border. I'm going to get rid of the numbers in each of the cards, and I'm going to reassign them. Now, I know that there's a kind of a bit of a challenge and risk in deck modding an out-of-print deck, because if I mess this up, it is over. But I wanted to do this anyways, because I want to make this deck less icky for me to use. Because I do legitimately like the, the art, and... I mean, sometimes it can be a little bit, um, uh, a little bit much sometimes in the kind of representation that it wants to show, but it's, it's something that perhaps I can make, you know, less like that, but that's only if I, I can do this right. And I like to think that maybe I can, at least for my own personal use anyways. It's not like I, I was going to like resell this thing after I make it beautiful. I'm just kidding. But I already have, I already have a list of 
all the different cards that I'm going to be reassigning to different suits, different arcanas, different courts, all that good stuff. If you're seeing any check marks in this list, and I know it's hard to see on camera because I'm filming this kind of in the dark right now, but uh, the check marks mean that it's actually going to be uh, the same card. So like uh, the Justice, the Hanged Man, the Death card, those three cards are going to be as they were assigned in, in the deck. But it, otherwise, everything else is going to be reshuffled into a different card. And so I'm really excited to see how this turns out. What I'm going to use is um, the Trusty Guillotine. Um, I don't have it in front of me, but uh, I'm going to be using that to to cut the cards. And I'm also going to be using... I'll show you the marker that I'm going to be using to mark these. Ah, here we go. Um, I'm going to be using a Sharpie. This is going to be... Let me take a close look here. Ah, here we go. So I'm going to be using the, the Ultra Fine Point Sharpie permanent marker. I've used this before on the Tarot of the Sweet Twilight when I I uh, modded that deck and made it smaller and cut all the, the borders off and I just marked each of the cards like that. And so I plan on doing it with this deck which has pretty much the same card stock although I am going to be cutting way more into the deck so it's probably going to come out looking very tiny and very square which I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my business over the next few days and we'll take a look at the results so i'll see you then and here is the result super itty bitty let's go ahead and scroll in here so you can see it a little bit clearly there we go hopefully that's not too close okay so, here's, here's how tiny it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at This was the original. Very long card. Now they're about... Yeah, I, I, I shrunk these. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Here's what the backs look like now, by the way. So instead of the orange border, that's been completely chopped off. Um, I don't think yeah so this is technically no longer reversible which is fine by me because I, I typically don't read reversals but I mean technically if I wanted to I could I would just have to ignore that right there but I think the the backs look way better now okay so we're gonna go ahead and do a flip through um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what each card is if there is any any little tingly for commentary on my part, then I will chime in on something. Uh, otherwise, if you can keep track, you're more than welcome to mute this, shut me up, and enjoy the ride. So here we are. Uh, this is my new fool. This is the magician who has been left unchanged, actually. The high priestess. The Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Justice, The Hermit, The Wheel, Strength, and by the way this was originally the Wheel card and I thought it was a much more badass Strength card, The Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, which was originally the High Priestess. 
the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world, which I almost considered making her a sun card, but I think I like her uh, as the world instead. Okay, ace of fire, or ace of wands. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, and I do believe that used to be the Devil card. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ronin of Wands. Monk of Wands, or or Page. This was the wild card, by the way, the one that I realized I didn't assign. Uh, this is now our uh, Ace of uh, Swords, or Ace of Ace of Wind. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. By the way, this one used to be the Three of Swords. <laughs> Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords, which I do believe uh, went unchanged. King of Swords. Queen of Swords. This one was the Shogun of Swords. Monk of Swords. Sorry, Ace of... Ace of Water, or Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, This is my Daimyo of Cups, Monk of Cups, or our page. Here's our Ace of Earth, or of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. By the way, this used to be the Lover's card. And if this looks familiar, it's from the other one that originally was a Judgment card. 
Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, which was originally our Temperance card. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Then we have our King of Pentacles. Our Queen of Pentacles. Our uh, Sumo Wrestler of Pentacles, which I already forgot how to pronounce it. It's Rikishi of Pentacles. <laughs> And Monk of Pentacles. I'm really happy with the way that this that this turned out. It turned out significantly better than I thought it would have. But the whole point I even wanted to do this is because this deck, despite all of its shortcomings that I explained in the Los Carabao Lovers video, I genuinely like the concept of this deck. It's just a shame that it's that it's done in the way that it was done. Um, uh, for me, as much as I appreciated being able to actually do the research and read through like all of the court cards as I did in that in that video, um, I don't really see those characters in this in this deck anymore. Um, not in the way that that Los Carabeo might have intended anyways. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to to uh, get to know this deck all over again in a way that makes more sense to me. And we'll just kind of go from there. But as for the other decks, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Well, that's not true. I think I explained earlier the Tarot of the Pirates I do actually use for, for more like imagination imagination work. Um, anytime I feel like I want to be creative, like I'll usually pull that deck out. Dragon's Tarot, I have zero idea what I'm going to do with. Um, I feel wrong for selling it, if that makes any sense, but uh, we're just going to keep it in the purgatory box and just kind of see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed just kind of looking through the cards and the way that I assigned them. And, I mean, if you have any recommendations for how you would reassign some of the cards, by all means, please do so in the in the comments. And if you wanted to know what the original assignments were for for these cards, there I don't believe there's any shortage of, of walkthroughs that you can look up on YouTube. But uh, please feel free to if you want to see what they look like in their original form. But until then, folks, thanks a ton for joining me at the study space. I'll catch you later. Bye!